Terrence Crawford will fight Canelo Alvarez in September of 2024 after the Earl Spence Jr. rematch. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So the rumor mill is swirling. The internet is on fire, and people are talking about the matchup between Terrence Big Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez happening in September of 2024. This all will take place if Terrence Crawford is able to take down Earl the True Spence Jr. in the rematch, the highly anticipated rematch. I just want to break this down, give my a 991 nickel for anybody left. All right, man. Look like Canelo as well in his PBC uh, three fight deal off with Jamal Charlo and May and Terrence Crawford in September. Now, I don't know exactly what happened with, uh, you know, Benavidez. All right, y'all. So what's being said? What is going on with Terrence Crawford? His next fight, his fight after his next fight in 2024. Will it be Canelo Alvarez? Well, a lot of people are reporting at the moment that it's already a done deal and Terrence Crawford will be taking on Canelo Alvarez September of 2024 as long as he's able to defeat Earl Spence Jr. in this rematch. You know, me personally, I think it's kind of crazy that they're already making this victory a far gone conclusion you know nobody's giving Earl Spence any type of shot in the rematch that I don't think people think that he's even going to lay a hand on Terrence Crawford in this rematch so a lot of people already have it made up in their mind that it's going to be Canelo versus Crawford in the end of 2024 Canelo, I think, was supposed to fight David Benavidez, but it's getting reported that he's actually going to fight Jamel Charlo or Jamal Charlo, whichever one. I don't never know. I can't tell either one of them apart. The one that didn't beat up his wife. Oh, God, what have I done? Put it that way. Because uh, the other one's in, in some trouble. But they're almost making it like, you know, it's a far gone conclusion that Terrence Crawford is going to get this fight. And instead of Canelo fighting David Benavidez, uh, who I think a lot of people anticipated he was going to fight, I believe Benavidez is his mandatory. They're actually bumping Terrence Crawford into that spot as long as he can molly whop Earl Spence Jr. again. And, man, I think it's kind of comical, really, because if you think about the way that the original fight between Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence was kind of built up, it was lopsided. It was one-sided. Everybody thought that Earl Spence was going to come in. He was going to dominate. He's the bigger, stronger, more skilled guy, what everybody thought. And Terrence Crawford kind of came in, showed his dominance, showed his skill sets, and won the fight. And now, you know, a year later, it's kind of flipped. Nobody's giving Earl Spence a shot. Everybody thinks Terrence Crawford's going to win. It's a foregone conclusion. Mercy, mercy. Damn it, mine eyes. Damn it, mine eyes. He's going to come in. He's going to show his skills. He's going to dominate. He's going to make Earl Spence look like a fool for the second time around. And I think there's your problem. That's where your problem lies. I think it's the fact that people kind of take the other guy for granted. They, they don't think that the other guy is actually preparing. They don't think Earl Spence is putting himself through hell to avenge that loss. I don't think people feel like Earl Spence even has it in him to avenge that loss, you know, and I think that's the wrong way to look at this. You know, if, if you look at it that way, Terrence Crawford's going to walk right into a buzzsaw because he's going to go in there thinking about Canelo and all the money he's going to get from that Canelo fight and not focusing on Earl Spence Jr. Well, I'll be damned. I can see my dick, my dick, my dick, my dick. The same way Earl Spence Jr. thought he could just walk in there, do Terrence Crawford like he did everybody else because it worked for him in the past, and he was looking forward to going to 154 and doing his thing up there, but not being focused on the fight in front of him. And there's going to be your problem, Terrence Crawford is going to not be focused on Earl Spence 
and it's going to give Earl Spence a real good opportunity to take him down because we don't know what version of Earl Spence is coming back to the ring. Are we going to get the, the Spence that beat all those other welterweights? Are we going to get the Spence that broke Ordanius Ugas' eye sockets? Or are we going to get the Earl Spence that got beat around the ring for, what, eight rounds until they had to stop it versus Terrence Crawford? That's a glazed donut! <laughs> we do not know. We can only assume what we're going to get. And if you ask me, I highly doubt that you're going to get that same version of Earl Spence. Whatever was going on, whether it was the ribs, whether it was the not sparring, whether it was running those mountains, whether it was the cataracts, there's no chance that all that stuff is going to actually happen in the same order that it happened the last time. So even if one of the things came, let's say he messed his rib up again, well, you still don't have those other three factors playing a role in how he performs. So you're still going to get at least a 75% better performance out of Earl Spence this time around because he would only have one element instead of three, four, five things plaguing him and, and forcing him not to give his best showing. What? You want to go blind? Ah, uh, nobody's going blind. You heard what I said? Yeah, the eye's great, no problem. Every pug thinks he has one good one left. Now forget it, your fighting career is over, kid. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. You know, I spent my whole life getting a career, I get one, and you tell me it's over. You got the heart, but you ain't got the tools no more. Now forget it. Well, maybe it's you who ain't got it no more, you know that? So, at the end of the day, you know, they might have already planned the year out as far as if Terrence Crawford can get past Earl Spence, then he'll get that Canelo fight. But once again, that's how you set yourself up for a quick loss. And at the end of the day, if Terrence Crawford doesn't beat Earl Spence in this rematch, guess what has to happen after that? Ain't gonna be no Canelo fight. It's gonna be Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, Three. I think you are what you continue to do. I mean, we gotta know what his money going to. A shark ain't a shark no more if it don't if it don't swim. Bird ain't a bird no more if it don't fly. After a while, that is literally what you're living off your lowers. You're living off what you used to do. I mean, we gotta know what his money going to. There is a level of achievement where you that you can get, where you have all of these trophies. But if you don't do it anymore, then you're not that. I mean, we gotta know what what his money going to. Whatever I don't do anymore, I'm not. Stop doing anything anymore. You could be the greatest bodybuilder in the world. Stop listening for six months. I mean, we got to know what his money going to. Doctors, you could be the most proficient surgeon in the world, but you still have to keep abreast of new techniques, new technology. You have to do that. So I think you are what you have to do. I mean, we got to know what his money going to. I got to go on the road. That's what I am. I'm not even talking about the financial expert. That's what I have to do. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. That like button for me. Sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. But you're more than likely to get a response on the tubes. Or holler at me over there. If you want to collab or feature a product on your channel, on my channel, Feel free to hit my Gmail because it is a flock of cards at gmail.com. And we are flying in. Uh, I drop CDs on the yearly. Uh, the chicks get live whenever they hear me. Uh, some niggas I hate, some niggas are cheer me. Uh, I just want to make sure you hear me clearly. Uh, that way I know you consider me uh, one of the best rappers sincerely. Woo. Niggas want to stunt like they don't fear me. Uh, on the microphone wishing that they could serve me. Nah. Trying to get in the way of my journey. That's how you end up on the gurney. Yeah. It ain't about the money. Then it don't concern me oh, uh, I stay on the grind, nigga I stay on I got so a bottle full of Remy Plus I got a filthy uh, Henny uh, The vodka got me in it But tonight I got a limit Right now we just in ginning Ain't no spending on no women But I pass you a bottle Would you tell me I can hit it? Pass the bottle Pass the bottle Pass the bottle Seen death, it seems you want the ball, but you're more like referees. Broke niggas and your jerks, especially. 
think twice before you step to me. Yes, it's me, Professor Key. School niggas on how to get the cheese. Better yet, it's me, call him Chef the Key. If you're trying to eat, get the recipe. Uh, I keep it real till I'm buried. Get on that fake shit, nigga, don't come near me. I got the monster squad, so I ain't worried. Get on that bullshit, get took out early. I got a bottle full of Remy, plus I got a foot in it. The vodka got me in it, but tonight I got a limit. Right now we just some ginning, ain't no spinning on the women. But I pass you a bottle, if you tell me I can hit it. Pass the bottle, pass the bottle, pass the bottle, pass the bottle, pass the bottle. Pass the bottle, pass the bottle, I see a bottle, I'm about to holler. Stay smoking, choking, drinking, y'all. Stay smoking, choking, drinking, I stay smoking, choking, drinking, y'all. Stay smoking, choking, drinking, From the bill to the ATL, trying to put girls on their ACL. Run game to games with great detail. That's why it's for a bus and it's eight females. Stay stuck like fake spree wells And the KY is the state he hails From love, mama, move your tail Some know you smell and you wanna inhale Some, nah, uh, I'm finna drop on Saturday I swear to God I'm on the hundred stacks by Thursday I'm off of the fifth and it got me swerving The ten men who you know this urban I got a bottle full of Remy, plus I got a foot in it. The vodka got me in it, but tonight I got a limit. Right now we juicing gin and ain't no spinning on no women. But I pass you a bottle if you tell me I can hit it. Pass the bottle, 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 pass the bottle. Pass the bottle. Pass the bottle. I see my bottle, I'm about to holler. Stay smoking, choking, drinking, y'all stay smoking. Broken, and I stay smoking, choking, drunk.